Hey yo, greetings guys and welcome to another episode of The Breakdown with DJ Odyssey. Yeah, we're breaking it down and I just made this I'm a Piano song basically and it's been inspired by people like DJ Maporis, uh, because of the small Scorpion Kings basically and when it comes to the drums, I'll say I got inspired by listening to some of Tim Mosh, that, that Pretoria I'm a Piano when he was coming in, you know. Uh, so it was a little bit um busy like the, the the drums were a little bit busy but not too hectic but busy in terms of there's um uh, there's like percussions almost everywhere and then that's that type of i'm a piano where the percussions are like a little bit fast like it's as if somebody's actually playing it uh, but anyway without talking too much man let me show you how <laughs> something like this this is what i'm breaking down today and without wasting time man let's try to break this down fast so uh you know how we do it uh pattern by pattern and pattern one is the drums i'll play you the drums how they sound you can hear they're like a little bit busier than normally how my armor piano would go but i'll put the 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 shaker as well just to give you like how like a loop will sound like you can actually do this this is very easy uh but i'm using my own sample pack for this uh it's my armor piano sample pack too i'm bringing uh an afro house sample pack soon but this is uh my armor piano sample pack too uh i'm still using one as well I still go to one, but this is two. Uh, so first is the kick. Okay, you're gonna hear the shaker anyway, and then and I put some of these percussions. You can hear, and then another thing. And that's how uh, busy they sound. Uh, the BPM is 113. The tempo is 113. The BPM is 113. So uh, that's the thing. And then the next pattern that I had to do was the chords. So the chords are here. And then they sound like this together. Like normally, how I'd normally do this, so I use Contact 5 this time. So this time I'm using not just FL Studio plugins, but you can also do that. I've been doing that for some time now. So today I decided that I'll, I'll use uh, Contact for this. Um, I used uh, the Vintage Keys, and it's called Dina for Two. Uh, you know, guys, I love this. Um, if you've been following my tutorials, you know that this is one of my favorite chords, my keys anyway. Um, uh, I'll try to install things like Keyscape, things like Omnisphere 2 because they have some nice things just that I don't have enough space in my thingy um, I'm buying a new PC very soon and then I'll make sure that I have enough space and then I can actually do more for you guys but those things are expensive like Omnisphere uh, Sample Tank those things you don't actually, you need them but I'm not saying you actually, I don't think they're like 100% essential, but they have very, very, very nice sounds. And then as a producer, you need to upgrade and keep on upgrading. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how you're going to end up making an amazing music. And then new plugins inspire you to actually make different type of music at the end of the day because you get to find like different sounds inside these new plugins that you get and then you get inspired to do something different from what you've been doing uh somebody said i talk a lot or i explain too much i'm sorry man if you're watching <laughs> so yeah uh, next person next next pet 10 i mean uh was it was a synth uh let's see it is so this has to be nexus so yeah i use nexus um it's called buzz me um it just goes one 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 just like that in between like that 
Um, and the next thing was the guitar. Uh, let me find the guitar. So this is the guitar. And then so I use simple tank for this guitar. Um, I don't know if this is gonna handle. I don't know if it, this is gonna handle this for now, but I hope it get handled. I'll play this pattern. So, so when it comes to the guitar inside sample tank, sometimes you'll notice there's a lower uh, key that I put in. This key, this lower key here, determines how uh, your guitar is gonna sound. So if I put it here, for instance it's different and if i put it here it, it gives you a different tone of the guitar and again like this it gives another different tone the keys that are playing are just these two so now you can hear like this changes the the, the tone now it's a mute guitar and then you understand but i like it here excuse me people um so yeah i like the guitar where it sounds like it paints a little bit and then inside the song it sounds like this and the next thing that i had to do in this thing was the sound effect sounds but it's a raw it's a sound effect and a raw but it's a sound effect in terms of being like it becomes like in my own type of impact you could put just an impact that you find inside one of my sample packs you can just drop an impact on top of that but for now i create my own you know still every song i still create sometimes you just need to just put an impact on top it sounds like this i'm gonna play it alone so it's just a clap with some reverb nothing major and then what happens to it is at the last minute the last bar eight bar sounds like this so that's how the pattern sounds like um so it's this clap um you see like when you see this clap here and then okay let's put it as pattern like that and then i put a snare timbal and a tambourine so they all play at the eighth bar like here and then sounds like this that's very simple they all have reverb lots of reverb on them they all go to the same uh channel which is my sfx my sound effect channel the reverb looks like this um and then and then it makes your sound like this already you have a nice sounding i'm a piano song and you can already hear like okay the calls give you to people like gabza and then uh, other things like the drums they give you people like tim mosh at like pretoria phil on frostana brian so i would say i added this just for now just in case and then it sounds like so it's a riser and it will sound like this So what makes it go chuka 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 chuka? I actually added um what we call this so it's on the riser channel. I actually added like a um, cross beat. Uh if you find a cross beat here, yeah, uh, I just chose the half beat gate and then so so it becomes And then that's that that's that was what I found. And then the next pattern after the sound effects was the vox. So I had a vox added here. Um but I kept it here. I didn't keep it at the top, but I kept it here. It just goes yeah. and it goes. it just plays at c5 
I could have put it anywhere, but it should have been on key. But I listened to it and I was like, oh yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's actually on key a little. And then that's how it goes. This is it. And then so I created a Vox channel. I put like a delay and a lot of reverb on it for it to have like, uh, so that it can splash a little bit. And then, yeah, man. I don't feel there's a lot to, to discuss on it. And then I have to come up with the bass line, the first bass, this one. And then so I guess we come to this part of the song. And then it sounds like this. <laughs> You know I'm a piano and you know that the bass line it's a locked drum. And it looks like this, that's how I did it. You can actually do what you can, but this is how it looks. Nah. Um sometimes it doesn't have to just bounce like smaller. Sometimes it has to like at least have where it actually becomes a little bit longer. <laughs> It's a log drum uh, with a little bit of decay as you can see like it's a little bit longer and then the only thing I had to deal with a lot was this init in I don't know what it is but is the initial place is it gonna be hard or is it gonna be soft and then because when you do this so it's a bit low it's a bit hard it's a bit lower a bit soft but it's deep and then so you decide on how you actually want your your log drum to sound it's it's up to you it's not up to me for me i decided how i want it to sound it's up to you how you want it to sound and then i made it like that so that it can hit and still be a little bit it can be punchy but it still be a little bit deep and then the next pattern was another bass it's another lock drum which comes in very simple it comes here <laughs> can hear it doesn't hit all the time like the other one the first one becomes like this uh it looks like that and then as you can tell so yeah i hope i'm i hope i'm teaching you something here or you actually are picking up something from this these are like nice tutorials that i'm trying to do for you guys if you're new to my channel please 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 subscribe i beg of you where's my notification gang <laughs> yeah uh i know people have, have put down the notification thing i hope you guys do the same so that we can all move along and then the next thing was a bell basically like a plug this is it so we come to this point of the song and then so this is it and then it sounds like that it's a, it's a, it's a good thing and then now the next thing was a pad so with the pad I only played it straight um, and let's put it like this it's only straight it's only like one straight thing like that um i'll show you what the name of the pad is it's ambient pad in the single layer pads not those big pads so this one is like one layer of pads because normally a pad is like having a lot of things on its own so this one is a pad but it's single layer single layered and it sounds like that and then that plug sound uh, it's called the trim off inside plugs that bell sound that i said was a bell so i guess i had forgotten to actually tell you what well to show you where what it was and the next thing i have two snares so i'll go with the 
with any snare first okay the first snare i guess since we can come here i can even yeah let's just play this so this wasn't too long the first one wasn't too long and then in the song it sounds like <laughs> I told you when you know, I'm a piano the emphasis is on the snare and the lock drum and then everything else matters but your snare and your lock drum they make your track become more powerful when people hear it for the first time you know and then I'll put the snare the second snare this is the second snare and then yeah I'm almost done and then sounds like this <laughs> This sums up uh, what the Nama Piano track sounds like, must be like, not like must be like, you can do whatever. This is music by foot. You know, I'm still hoping that you guys come up and make something amazing, you know. And then I hope somebody will say, yo, I, I, I got taught <laughs> from YouTube by Odyssey when you get your award on, at the Summer Awards or something. So anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification button as well. Uh, hit me up on my socials. Facebook, Insta, Twitter. Hey, I even have TikTok. Hey. Yeah, I, yeah, I got a TikTok. And then, what else? Yeah, just hit me up. Just search Odyssey. Don't search a lot of DJ Odyssey because when you search DJ Odyssey, you're gonna follow my other account which is not really active. I don't I don't really do anything like on Insta. Day. I have another account with DJ Odyssey. I even felt like deactivating it because I wanted to put beats on it. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna deactivate it. Um but follow Odyssey the most. Just at Odyssey. That one I'm there. You inbox me, I'll answer you. Um yeah, my WhatsApp is down there. Strictly business, but wait, please, business. So yeah, man, without wasting time, man, this is it. Let's go.